né? Hi, girls and boys. I would like to present a lecture which is entitled by relative pronouns. It is presented by Dr. Estabrak for all classes and, of course, English classes for College of Basic Education and Mustansaria University. Now, this lecture within relative pronouns, let's have a definition for this word. There are only a few relative pronouns in the English language, and the most common are which, that, whose, whoever, whomever, who, and whom. In some situations, sometimes we can find that the words what, when, and where can also function as relative pronouns, because there are only a few of them. There are also just a few rules for using relative pronouns. Now, relative pronouns, let's say it goes within relative clauses, are typically introduced by relative pronouns, and that the relative pronoun can function as possessive pronoun, an object, or a subject. When relative pronouns introduce restrictive relative clauses, no comma is used to separate the restrictive clause from the main clause. So this is important and you have to keep in your mind. Also, within American English, the relative pronoun whom is used rarely. You may notice this in conversations, but it is best to use the term when writing to ensure that your work is grammatically correct. Now, let's go for examples. The first one, it is the cyclist who won the race train hard, the pants that I bought yesterday are already stained. The four team leaders, whoever the committee selects, will be at tomorrow's meeting. Spaghetti, which we eat at least twice a week, is one of my family favorite meals. And where do you buy the dress that you wore last week? And finally, we will have the store on the corner where we usually buy all of our art supplies burned to the ground. So thanks a lot for using or for listening for this lecture.